Hey everyone, my name is Chad. I am a Jesus follower. I am the pastor at Henderson General Baptist Church, and today we have a family devotion time, but we also have that in together with the General Baptist Bible College in the Philippines live stream. Okay, this is not, I'm live, but this video's not live. Uh, but boy, howdy, don't we wish we were all together uh, in that chapel, actually having the chapel service. And for some of you who are watching this, you're thinking, wait a minute, this is, is this the family devotion? Is this the GBBC? It is both coming together because ultimately, today I have some special music. And with this special music, it's stuff that I've recorded over the years of me going to the General Baptist Bible College. And I'm trying my hardest to figure out which songs to put in today because ultimately, I want you guys, maybe some of you have never had an actual chapel service in the chapel because you started school, college, and maybe you're not there and you don't know what it's like. I, I want to give you some insights on that. For those here in the U.S. that are watching it or maybe in a different country that are watching this video and you've never had the opportunity to be in a chapel service there at the General Baptist Bible College there in the Philippines, then I want to give you some insight into that today. So the reality is, is that who or what are you bowing your life to? It's still needed. And though we are in 2021 right now as you are watching this, I want you to know that there's still some some hardships ahead, and you must decide who you're going to serve, much like these students did. And I haven't been able to keep up with all of these students, but what I realize is, is they said they were going to serve the Lord no matter what problem happened. So what are you going to do today? Are you going to keep serving the Lord no matter what, no matter why, no matter how? Listen to what they said. This is in a classroom setting. And, and think about it for yourself. Do you want to serve the Lord? Are you going to bow down your life to God? No matter what, no matter why, no matter when, no matter where, no matter how he asked for it. see, as you go through this year, each and every one of us, whether we live in the Philippines, we live in the United States, or we live in another country, what we must realize is, is we get to choose the path we're on and who we're going to follow. And the reality is, for my life, I want to be a follower of Jesus Christ. I want to keep going up that. I'm not at where I was, and I'm not where I'm, I'm going to be. I'm somewhere in the middle somewhere and I'm going to keep striving to go forward to serve God and to realize that I get to bow down my life every single day to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I get to choose whether or not I'm going to serve God or serve myself or I'm going to serve idols or other things, things that I tried to acquire. Circumstances, so oftentimes we bow down our lives to circumstances I mean, it's really, really tough because the circumstances of our life are constantly changing. They're constantly shifting, and they never stay the way we want them to stay. Oftentimes, if you get a chance to go to the beach or you get to go on vacation, you go, I wish this would never stop. But the reality is, it will. 
Why? Because you can't do that all the time. And what reality that I have in my life is, is that as I continue reaching towards God, I realize that that I get to bow down my life to the King of kings and Lord of lords. There is no greater cause for me to bow down my life to. So when I think about this, I think about what happened in the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 7 verse 10 reads, And they were shouting with a great roar. Salvation comes from our God who sits on the throne and from the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living beings. And they fell before the throne with their faces to the ground and worshiped God. They sang, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and strength belong to our God forever and ever. Amen. This day, I want to play a couple of more songs. And they were straight from GBBC at the at the 360. I want you to take this moment to decide in your heart who or what are you going to bow down your life to this year? You know, I say it all the time. Go conquer your day. Go conquer your life. You can't conquer your life if you don't conquer each day, which means we got to put forth some serving attitudes. Some attitude that I'm going to bow down my life to God and God alone. See, it's not God and, it's God alone. And in this idea of moving forward, I I pray that we take some time just to slow down. To come near the cross of Christ. To realize that though we're not in a sanctuary, a chapel, together, we still are together. You are not alone. You're not by yourself. The King of kings and the Lord of lords, he has a purpose and a plan for your life and he loves you. And my hope and my prayer is is that you will sincerely listen and, and worship with these songs. Hear the spirit of the song. Yes, I recorded it with my with my with my phone, and 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 according to which ones I put on, they're they're vertical, they're side, they're it's all over the place. The camera will shake some. Just listen to the spirit of the songs. And take a moment to worship our King of Kings. Take a moment to bow down and find rest for your soul through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Though you didn't think you could make it through 2020, you did. And I promise you, God was right beside you and he will continue to be beside you. Let us take this moment to worship in the actual chapel services there at GBBC.
Earth has no soul,
bless you. May God keep you. May you go conquer your day. Yes, and go conquer your life. And remember, you get to choose who you're going to bow down to. I pray that it is to Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. May you also take a moment, uh, if you're new to this channel that I'm doing, hey, go go share it. Go find that link on there at YouTube and, and go ahead and, and, and like it, share it, poke it, hit that bell button, be reminded. We're on a journey. We're on this journey together to grow closer to Jesus Christ no matter the circumstances this life throws our way. I will catch you guys next time.